Um, so I was writing and all of a sudden words just started flowing out of me after I wrote a poem about like domestic violence. Um, and then all of a sudden my mind went somewhere where I, I, I wish it had never gone. And I wrote this poem vividly describing what happened to me. So here it is. I remember how long your hair used to be. Free flowing curls in the wind, they had no stop, no end. You used to be shorter than me, still are. And you are the shortest person I've dated so far. Yet you have the strength of a thousand men. Enough to pin me to the bed like a rag doll. Two hours and five beers later, I guess you could say I'm at fault. I let him on with flirty eyes and hugs, even though I specifically said sex wasn't in the plans, he found another way. He, whom I thought had the best intentions after nine years of friendship, betrayed me. Hands all over my breast like he owned them. Hands all over my stomach like he owned it. Hands all over me like he owned it. Me. Like he owned me. This felt all too familiar. A scenario I described to him with tears in my eyes. I remember how hard I cried. He knew this body had a past. This body had been hurt before, had been forced to take off her clothes before, had been taken in the back room and raped before. For a long time, I'd cried in his arms as I laid in hiding for my mom, who was the vehicle taking me back to this subjection. I told her what was happening, and as loud as a judge, she yelled her objections. No one could save me. Just like no one could save me now. Laying under his sweaty skin, counting the minutes he lasted two. But it felt like a lifetime. He left and I rolled over on my bed looking for any piece of cover to hide my body like I'd do in his arms when I was younger. There was no safety in words or men, or mothers, or family, or drinks, or conversations where I speak the truth, or the hell that I've been through nothing. All I remember is how long your hair used to be. 